First off, I want to say thank you to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If it wasn't for him, this would not be possible. Low Nose Boxing. Hit the like button, share the video, leave a comment, subscribe. If y'all been living under a rock somewhere, y'all would already know that um, Arthur Bedebeev is officially the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. Arthur Bedebeev has shaken up boxing because he defeated Dimitri Bivol. Dimitri Bivol is a fighter that I've always been very high on. I was very impressed with his victory over Canelo Alvarez, who is the person that I'm gonna talk about right now. Canelo Alvarez is a fighter who, in my opinion, has surpassed Julio Cesar Chavez as the greatest Mexican fighter of all time, right? Canelo Alvarez, for me, is the second greatest Latino fighter of all time. You already know I made a video in the past stating why I feel Roberto Duran is the greatest Latino fighter of all time, right? And the reasons why is because Roberto Duran took on certain types of challenges that Canelo hasn't taken yet. Roberto Duran has been in the ring numerous times as an underdog. Roberto Duran has fought guys that were younger than him, bigger than him, stronger than him. Roberto Duran has defeated fighters that defeated fighters that defeated him. Roberto Duran already cemented his legacy as the greatest lightweight of all time, right? Prior to the Sugar Ray Leonard fight. So beating Sugar Ray Leonard and accomplishing more after that only added to his legacy. Canelo Alvarez, make no mistake about it, has a phenomenal resume. Canelo Alvarez has taken on the very best fighters of his generation, right? But Canelo Alvarez has never been in a fight where he was a big underdog, with the exception of the Floyd Mayweather fight and the first Triple G fight, which he was a slight underdog, even the second fight, which he did win, right? But Canelo Alvarez has not been in a fight where the majority of the people were, were fearing for his life. Enter Arthur Betterbeef. I've spoken to my boxing friends. Shout out to Troy King, Killertainment. He, he definitely knows his boxing. Follow him on Killertainment.com. I mean, um, not Killertainment.com, but follow him on Troy Killertainment on Instagram and on YouTube. That man definitely knows his stuff. But we go back and forth all the time, and I'm going to have to disagree with with um an assessment that he made about Arthur Betterbeef defeating Canelo Alvarez. Well, I'm not going to disagree with it. What I'm gonna say is that I do give Canelo Alvarez a very good chance at pulling off that upset victory against Arthur Baturbiev, right? The reason why I say that is because despite the fact that Arthur Baturbiev has established himself as the top dog at 175 and possibly pound for pound, maybe the biggest puncher in boxing or at least top three, Canelo Alvarez has the skill set to get the job done. But in order for him to get the job done, he's gonna have to bring out all his tricks. He can't just come forward behind a high guard. He's gonna have to bring um, back that upper body, lower waist movement, the head movement, counter punches to the body to slow the big man down. Going into that fight, Canelo Alvarez would definitely be an underdog. And if he were to lose that fight, I wouldn't be surprised. If he were to pull off the upset, I wouldn't be surprised. You already know how I carry it. I gotta go into my historian bag right now. Roberto Duran took on Iran Barkley, right? Roberto Duran was the smaller guy moving up in weight. And the similarities are there between Roberto Duran versus Iran Barkley and Canelo Alvarez taking on Alter Better Beef, right? Both Alter Better Beef and Iran Barkley conquered the fighters that conquered the guys I'm talking about. Arthur Baturbiev defeated Dimitri Bivol, who defeated Canelo Alvarez. Iran Barkley knocked out Tommy Hearns, who had knocked out Roberto Duran. So imagine what the odds were going into the fight. People must have been fearful for Roberto Duran's life, right? Very similar situation, but Roberto Duran was actually the older guy moving up to fight the bigger, younger, stronger guy. Canelo is the younger guy 
moving up to fight the bigger fighter. But Viterbi, if make no mistake about it, is more accomplished than what Iran Barkley was at that time and possibly a better, more dangerous fighter due to his knockouts. So if Canelo Alvarez were to go to 175 and defeat Alta Viterbiev, the conversation of who is the greatest Latino fighter of all time definitely has to be revisited. I'm not saying that Canelo would overtake Duran, but that would be a better conversation. That's a fight that we need. Canelo Alvarez versus Alta Viterbiev. And if that fight were to happen, I don't want to hear people try to slander Canelo Alvarez no more and say things like, oh, Canelo's ducking David Morrell. He's ducking David Benavidez. Viterbiev is more dangerous and more accomplished than David Morrell and David Benavidez put together. Now, like I said before, Canelo Alvarez is going to have to utilize all of his slickness. You can't just go in there bulldozing guys, especially a bigger fighter like Alta Baturbiev, who has physical advantages and power and height. Remember, Roberto Duran, as a smaller fighter, was bulldozing everybody as well. As he moved up in weight, he tapped into more of his boxing skills. And when he fought Iran Barkley, Roberto Duran put it all together. He utilized the feints, he utilized the head movement, the counter punching, the body shots. He was even able to drop Iran Barkley because Roberto Duran was the kind of fighter that was able to carry his power to higher weight classes. Canelo Alvarez is a certified legend, but this is the difference between being a legend and being an all-time great and immortal. Canelo Alvarez versus Alter Baturbiev is the fight to make. It's a very dangerous fight. A lot of boxing experts feel that Canelo Alvarez has no shot. But boxing is the theater of the, under, of the unexpected. And these are the type of fights that when you win, you become an immortal in boxing. You become a legend like Roberto Duran, like Sugar Ray Leonard, like Muhammad Ali. These are the fights. Canelo Alvarez has done so much in his illustrious career. A win over Arthur Baturbiev will be the icing on the cake to an already legendary career. With that being said, hit the like button, share the video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, Low Nose Boxing, because Low Nose Boxing. You like how I implemented that defense as well, right? I'm out.